common consequences of the atmospheric pressure so what are the consequences of the atmospheric pressure first is sucking a drink with a straw okay you can see a uh, drink over here which is there in the glass okay and atmospheric pressure will obviously act on the surface of this drink uh, in this direction and we have a straw which is connected to the mouth of this person so what happens when the person uh, when a drink is sucked with a straw when a drink is sucked with a straw then what happens the air inside this straw will go into the lungs of this person that means air pressure this air pressure inside this straw is less now so air, if the air pressure inside this straw is less this atmospheric pressure which is acting on the drink this way forces the drink to go inside this straw and this is how the drink is sucked okay and finally the drink reaches to the reaches into the mouth so this is what will happen second application or second consequence of the atmospheric pressure is that filling a syringe with the liquid okay so we have a syringe and this part of the syringe we call it barrel and this part we call it plunger okay and so when we have to fill the syringe uh, the opening is uh, put just a liter inside the liquid okay opening is kept just inside a liquid and uh, atmospheric pressure is acting on the surface of the liquid like this okay so whenever we have to fill the syringe what do we do we pull the plunger when we pull the plunger the air inside this bearer it comes out pressure of the air inside the bearer becomes much less because air inside it comes out so once the air pressure becomes very less then what will happen then atmospheric pressure which is acting in this direction forces the liquid to go inside this uh, barrel which has less air pressure okay